Hey guys, Aaron McKenzie here with Gruber Motor Company. We've got something interesting going on today. I've got my beautiful silver Tesla Model S here, and I'm here with uh, Peter Gruber because uh, about a week ago I put the car in reverse and I heard this loud bang. And it was so loud that I actually thought I had run into something and I got out, looked around, you know, nothing was going on. So as it turns out, the rear subframe of this Tesla has cracked. And so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the car up and take a look at it. And uh, Peter's helping me out here. Let's send it up. So this is a 2013 Tesla Model S. It's got a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack in it. And this car has about 182,000 miles on it. Peter, what do you call the, um, the skin that you take off to expose the drive unit? This is the rear diffuser. These are straight fins, right? So what's happening now, what Peter's gonna do is he's going to remove the rear diffuser, which will expose the drive unit and so we can see what's going on with the car. Peter, how many of these would you say you've seen with the cracked rear subframe? Actually, I think yours is the second. Second? Yeah, we don't see it that often. Mm -hmm. This Tesla has one single large rear induction motor. So Peter, my theory is that when they installed the new drive unit, they may have over torqued something that could have caused the failure. Do you think that's possible? I mean, if it's, if it's the last, like the failure we had the last time, I think it's just a um, material failure. Yeah. The aluminum just snapped. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose if something weren't tightened properly, so maybe not over torqued, but loose, and that allowed a little extra wobble Play. to put extra strain on this rear bracket. Sure. At least that's what broke the last time. So I remember exactly where it is, actually. As you can see, so I'm underneath the back of the vehicle and we have the rear diffuser removed, which exposes the drive unit and the rear subframe. It's right there. There's the crack right there. See it? Can you actually see it? I can see it. I, in fact, that's it. So what you're saying is we're going to pull the drive unit and its cradle or rear subframe out of the car. Correct. And if we get a replacement rear subframe, we actually have the capabilities here to reinforce it so that it doesn't break again. Is that kind of yeah, what? Since we know where it breaks, we can build it up in that spot. And we build it up by using welding materials? How, how? Well, we'll talk to the uh, aluminum welders and see what the experts have to say on that. Okay. Um, to them, it may be simply adding more um, aluminum, making the weld a bit bigger, or possibly just chopping off what's there and putting something beefier in its place. So you might be wondering what causes a cracked rear subframe in a Tesla Model S? Could it be a design issue? Was the car in an accident? Or could it be just from driving it? The answer is going to surprise you. 